What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about multiple different ways you can create windows in SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so first off is the manual way. And so this is pretty simple to do. You just start by drawing a rectangle. So you can tap the R key, click, and then draw a window the size of which you want, right? So in this case, I'll type in three foot, comma, four foot, hit the enter key. Then you would just offset this end by whatever the thickness of the exterior of a window is gonna be. I'm gonna say one inch. Then you just push pull this to the thickness that you want it to be. So in this case, I'm gonna say four inches and you take this and you make it a group. Then you can draw a rectangle from this corner to let's say the middle point right here. So tap the R key, single click on a corner and then tap the left arrow key to lock this to the green axis. Then you can click, offset this in and push pull it like this. Usually what I like to do with these is make them a component. Within that component, add your glass, and then use the move tool in copy mode to create a copy. Then all we have to do is add our glass material. Now you can use this to model all different styles of windows um, if you wanted to do that, but you can do this manually. However, this can be a little bit slow Plus, it's a little bit easier to just jump into the 3D warehouse and find windows that look like the style that you're looking for. So I'm going to click on 3D warehouse right here, and we're going to search for windows. And in this case, we're going to stay in the products section because there are multiple different manufacturers that have provided their windows in here as products. So you can take these and you can bring them in to your model. So if I click on download like this, it's really easy to bring in a manufacturer window. So if you're looking for a specific product, this could be a massive time saver. So taking that one step further, you can also go into the 3D warehouse. And when you're searching for windows, you can go into the advanced and you can sort for dynamic components by clicking this button right here. So when you do that, notice how there's multiple different dynamic components in here. And you can tell things are dynamic because they've got this little, uh, they've got this little icon right here. Well, a dynamic component is basically a smart component. And so if I download this and bring it into my SketchUp model like this, what that's going to allow us to do is that's going to allow us to right click on the window and under the option for dynamic components, there's an option for component options. And so these are different depending on which manufacturer you download them from. Basically what this allows you to do is this allows you to adjust a lot of different things about your window. So for example, notice how I can adjust the direction the door opens. I can adjust the sizes. So I could, for example, select like this six foot by three foot six, and this is automatically going to adjust. You can also create custom windows. So let's say I wanted this to be 48 inches by 60 inches. I could type those in and apply this, and this is going to create a custom window in here. So if you need some more customization, there's a lot of great dynamic components inside of the 3D warehouse. On top of dynamic components, there are also components that are built as live components. You can search for those in the same way that we did the dynamic components. You basically type in windows, then instead of searching for dynamic component, you want to search for live component. And in this case, most of those are going to be in the models section. Now, this is something that's still in development, so it's not 100% done yet. Um, Trimble just rolled out their Trimble creator that allows you to use these, but basically, these are like dynamic components, but better. And so what they do is they allow you to right click, and do a configure of your live component, and then it's going to have to connect because all of this work is happening in Trimble Creator, but this one actually allows you to adjust sliders. And you can watch this adjust live like this. So you can select if this is a fixed window, you can select if it's a left casement, an awning window, other things like that. So the live components are basically an upgraded version of those dynamic components. The downside of the live components is there's just not a ton of them in the 3D warehouse yet. So in addition to being able to create the live components, the dynamic components and model manually, you can also download extensions that help you create windows. So for example, there's a simple free one from SketchUp called Window Maker. If you install this one. All right, so the window tool from SketchUp 
allows you to go into tools and add a window. You have options between a double hung and a slider. This is a very simple tool, but you can type in values and it's going to generate a window like this. And notice how that does come in as a face cutting component, meaning that if your faces are flat, it's going to cut an opening in them. So you've got options in there for both your double hung as well as your sliding window right here. So that's probably the simplest of the window creation extensions, but if you create this kind of windows, um, it's actually going to be very easy to use, and you may use that a lot. So in addition, there's also a tool from TIG, which you can download from Sketchication called Lattice Maker. And so what Lattice Maker does is Lattice Maker takes faces and it automatically offsets them. It offsets them based on their geometry and it creates a lattice. Well, in this case, you can use the lattice in order to create windows. So let's say, for example, that I was to select this first window right here, and then I was to go to Extensions, Lattice Maker. It's going to let me set my width of my, uh, my width of my offset and then the depth, and it's also gonna allow me to set a lattice material and a pane. So in this case, I'm gonna set the pane material to glass, and I'm gonna click on OK. So I use this a lot for creating commercial style windows. And so what's cool about it is you can select multiple different surfaces and it'll offset all of them. So let's say you had something a little bit more complex. We're gonna drop the segments in this down to like six. Now, if I select the surface and notice how if we look at our hidden geometry, this is actually a bunch of individual surfaces. But if I select all of these and I run Lattice Maker, that's gonna allow me to create lattices across, across multiple surfaces like this. And oops, I accidentally created a lattice on the bottom here. So you wanna be a little careful with what you have selected, but this is really great for these commercial style windows. All right, so Flex Tools is an extension that contains a number of different dynamic components um, for things like doors and windows, and it's got other stuff in there too for placing adjustable windows and assemblies in your SketchUp model. So one cool thing about this is these are all resizable meaning you can come in and adjust them either by typing in a value or by using the scale tool, but they also can cut walls that have thickness. So notice how when I adjust this, the size adjusts and so does the hole. And so you can interact with these in order to open and close them, as well as adjust a ton of the different options that are in here. So Flex Tools is my kind of like go-to fast window when I need to get something in there, get a size to an opening really quick and use something that looks really good um, kind of extension. All right, and then finally, you've got the extension Instant Door and Window from Valley Architects. I've talked about this one before, but basically this is an extension that allows you to uh, pick from a giant library of doors and windows, and they're also adjustable. So you can find out more on the Valley Architects website, but you can see how there's a ton of different kinds of doors that you can create with Instant Door and Window. So the interface is a little bit different on these, but you can still come in here and adjust the different kinds of windows, um, the different settings for how they fit in your wall, other things like that. Those are all adjustable inside of Instant Door and Window. So um, this is a a really in-depth extension that's got a lot of different options. So if you're looking for a really big library of different styles of windows, Instant Door and Window could be a good fit. Um, note that you can get this one either by itself on a yearly subscription of $29 a year. And so you can do the Instant Door and Window by itself, or you can also do the full Instant Architecture Suite, which is $118 a year. There's a number of great extensions in there, including their fence and railing, door and window, um, roofs, a bunch of different stuff in there. So it's definitely worth checking out. All right, so as you can see, there's a ton of different options for different ways to create windows in SketchUp. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. If there's another way I didn't think of, I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.